Naam, hujambo na karibu tena mtazamaji wa Bidibadu TV. Sisi kama Bidibadu TV tunakisha wewe kama shabiki unayetuangalia kwa sasa hivi unaweza kupata burudani kiasi unachohitaji wewe mwenyewe. Lakini sasa kabla hayo yote kupata burudani, kupata habari mbalimbali, lazima kwanza usubscribe pale kwenye YouTube channel yetu hapo chini kuna button hapo kengele kisha bonyeza hiyo ili uweze kupata notification zote. <coughs> Hapa nimeshika kitabu eh, kitabu kinaitwa The Omen of the Dancing Dust and Other Stories. Kitabu hiki The Omen of the Dancing Dust and Other Stories itakuja kukwambia kwa nini niko nacho siku hii ya leo na tarudi kuelezea kina kirefu kuhusu kitabu hiki baada ya mapumziko mafupi. Naam, kama nilivyokuambia karibu tena eh, kitabu hiki nimekuelezea na nikakwambia utajua mambo mengi kuhusu na niko na mgeni hapa ambaye eh, ndiye atakaye tuelezea vizuri kuhusu kitabu hiki cha leo. Karibu bwana. Asante sana. Naam, wanakufahamu kama nani na unafanya kitu gani na kwa nini leo umeletea hiki kitabu hapa? Wananifahamu kama Rumba Hussein Kamanza. Mimi ni mzaliwa wa Lunga Lunga kwa le county. Mimi ni mwalimu nafunza English and Literature. I was a former student like Kipia University and uh, this book The Omen of the Dancing Dust it is a collection it is just an, an anthology of short stories and uh, we have different writers who participated on this book and I being the one and uh, my story in this book is The Long Siege. Yeah. Okay, sasa sasa tua, tuambie kuna watu ambao wanatamani kufahamu pale lakini kwanza anza na background yako. Umeanzia wapi? I mean umesema kwamba uh, like it university lakini wanataka kujua umeanzia wapi kwanza ili tukija tukifikia pale sasa kwa university tayari washajua chimbuko rasmi kutokea uh, primary level. Amini mzaliwa wa Mwangulu Lunga Lunga na nilianzia masomo yangu katika shule ya msingi ile ile ya Mwangulu na baada ya Mwangulu primary nilienda Kenango school that is where i got my kcc certificate then i proceeded to lekipia university and i did my degree course yeah, as a teacher of english and literature safi sana kama ulivyosikia huyu jamani mzaliwa wa eh, lunga lunga sehemu inaitwa Mwangulu na amesomea Kenango pia akamalizia lekipia university sasa tuelezee kiufupi kuhusu kitabu hiki ulichokuja nacho siku hii ya leo. A, kitabu hiki <laughs> Kitabu hiki it is uh, as, as I've said it is just an uh, anthology, a collection of short stories. Mm. Many authors have participated in this book mm. from all around the Africa. That is Nigeria, Kenya, Zimbabwe, South Africa. And I'm the one I'm the one who also I participated in this book. Yeah. So wewe ume, ume participate mkiwa wewe mkenya peke yako ambao umeandika hapo ama kuna wakenya wengine ambao wako hapo ndani? Ah kuna wakenya wengine pia wame participate kama kuna mwingine anaitwa Zipora mm-hmm. pia anatoka Nyeri County, kuna mwingine pia anatoka anaitwa Kelvin Otieno Omondi. Kelvin Otieno Omondi is the CEO of our publishing company that is the African Ink Publisher. Mm. Yeye pia kuna story yake hapo hivi ame participate. So so story yako. Story yako inetraje kwenye kitabu hiki. Hivi mm. mtu ambaye anatazama pale video ya TV aweze kununua kitabu hiki na kuweza kusoma ajue kwamba nikienda page fulani nitaweza kupata story ya huyu bwana. Yeah my story here is uh, the long siege. Mm. Yeah the long siege just a short story but it is just a short story but it also includes all the universal themes mm. that is uh, it includes the leadership it also includes the conflict mm. uh, love also so it is a very captivating story mm. yeah na inapatikana page 82 of this collection tazamaje bidi bwa tv ukurasa wa 82 ndio wenye historia yake ambayo ameandika pengine tu uambie wanao wanaokuangalia pale na pengine hawajaelewa maana ya title ya historia yako uelezee kwa lugha ya Kiswahili ili uweze kujua ulikuwa na maanisha nini hiyo kitu yeah the long siege as the title of my story yani 
tatu lenyewe inamaanisha tu it is just revolving around a, a young man who is looking for his destiny but kupitia hiyo destiny yake the mother was the cause shida zake zote zinyalipitia mama yake ndo alikuwa sababu kuu yeah okay sana tuambie story hiyo ilikuwaje mwanzo unaiandaa a uh, ulipitia magumu gani mpaka ukakutana na ukapata akili ya kwamba wacha nipeleke kwa publisher mpaka sasa hii imekuwa kwenye story ya kitabu. Oh, story yenyewe kusema kweli it, it is not a direct experience. It, it was not a direct experience. But it is something that happens in society. So it is through indirect experience that I came up with those imaginations to come up with the title and the story as well. Uh, kwenye matarisho yako wakati unatarisha story hiyo na mimi kuandika chini kwenye karatasi mpaka yeah. kwa mao kuja kuitai kwenye magumu gani ambayo ulipitia ah uh, kusema kweli hata sikupitia magumu jo it was out of passion nilikuwa tu ni kitu mimi mwenyewe na yani ilikuja tu automatic kwa it is my passion mm-hmm. so sikupitia ugumu wote <laughs> okay sa pengine wewe hukupitia ugumu lakini kuna mwingine pale ambaye atapitia ugumu. Naomba uelezee pale wanaotizama. Eh mtu akitaka kuandaa story na pake inakamilika ni inakuwa kwenye kitabu kama hiki anafaa we na nini na nini ama apitie vigezo gani? Uh, kuandaa story kama hii kitu ya kwanza yenye ni muhimu mtu anafaa ayawe nayo ni passion au nele self drive ya kuwa nataka kuandika i just want to write back to my society akiwa tuna passion ndio atajituma mwanzo sasa when it comes to now writing a good story you have to you have to read actually you have to read because it, it is through reading that is where now you will know different styles different methods how the uh, different writers use so that they come up with captivating stories so ukisoma vitabu mingi hapo ndo utajua sasa njia ni njia ipi nzuri ya how will you introduce the book how will you develop the book and how you will end it your book yeah so kitu rahisi sana yenye mtu anaweza andika story nzuri ni ile asome vitabu vingi ajue siri ya waandishi wengine <laughs> sawa na wale ambao eh, amtaki kusoma vitabu kiona the river and the source tare ishakuwa bana nakumbuka pale darasani nilipokuwa shule ya pili pale the river and the source ilikuwa inapita tu yani selewelewi kwa hiyo siri ya kuandika kitabu kama hiki bwana au umeambiwa ni kulikuwa unasoma sana kwa hiyo ili upate kitu kizuri lazima uwe na mazoezi sana kusoma na kuandika pia kwa jumla ndio uweze kufanya kitu kama hicho okay story yako ambayo umeiandaa hapo so far ni imekuletea nini kwenye maisha yako Uh, kusema kweli story yenye nimeanda hapa it has exposed me to the world because currently the copies they are almost all over Africa because the authors we have different authors here from Africa like Nigeria South Africa Kenya Zimbabwe so kitabu kama hii collection kama hii kitoka lazima ziwafikie kule kwenye wako na wako na watu wenye wanataka kuzi, kuzisoma pia. Mm. Sasa hawanijui lakini jina imeenda na story imeenda huko. Yeah. Sasa una inapo inapo publishiwa sasa. Imetolewa copy kama hivi alafu imepelekwa kule Nigeria mfano. Wewe una unafaidika kivipi? Ukichanganya na kwamba story yako iko ndani pale. Kusema kweli ikienda kama kule Nigeria labda sita faidika hapo immediately lakini in future inaweza nisaidia kwa mfano kama sasa naweza andika novel of which uh, I have I, I also have novels mm-hmm. so wakipeleka kule Nigeria jina langu likienda kule kwa watu wanajua huyu mwandishi watanijua so that nikiandika novel yangu ama yenye nimeandika mm-hmm. watakuwa wanaangalia jina ya yule mwenye short story yake ilienda Nigeria. Na kwa gani pengine ambao umeandika ili mtazamaji pale anaangalia aweze kustafuta hizo vitabu zako? Okay, currently I, I have five novels like uh, I have The Cold Flame that is a novel. It, it was published yeah by the African Ink Publishers. 
I also have a, a novel uh, which is uh, The Yearnings of Life. It was also published. I have also a novel which is called The Reseed, which is underway. It is under publication currently. Then I have uh, The Blend of Love. Those are the novels. Then I have several short stories. Some of my short stories, they have been published in a continental magazine by Kelvin Omondi, that is from African Ink Publishers. So I have like three stories that they have appeared in those continental magazines. And I also have short stories which are also underway. They are under publication. Some, they are in different ebooks which they have been prepared by Kelvin Omond. Yeah. Safi sana, sasa, itokee bwana we, umekua history yako mefanyua review vizuri na unatakio story yako ingie kwenye 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 vitabu hizi set books inye wa wanafunzi wa nasoma ni kitu gani ambacho utakifanya ama utaongeza kitu gani kwenye creativity yako kusama kweli labda siku moja in future nijipata sasa story yangu imekua approved na KICD mwazo nitasikia ra sana nitashukuru mungu because haita kwa uwezo wangu ita kwa uwezo wake na I will keep on advising my youth to keep on achieving what they think it is best for them if they have a dream I can just advise them to work on it because you never know maybe it may be the destiny so kama kuna feeling kuwa naiza andika andike na Maybe I will be there to assist them. Yeah. Safi sana. Ina kuchukua mda gani kuandaa novel moja paka hii kamiliki? Novel moja ineza take... Ineza take... Kuyandika chini ineza take hata two days if you have the storyline. Yeah, if you have the storyline like the way I do, I normally write down my storyline. So that when it comes to writing it, it will just take two or three days. Yeah, but storyline is very important. Yeah. So uh, roughly about five days. Yeah, like five days. It will depend on how committed you are. Yeah. If you want it to, if you want to write it very fast, then you have to be committed. Yeah. Sasa tume tume tumeongea sana nataka utoleze kwa fupi historia The Cold Flame mwesema Cold Flame historia The Cold Flame ili pale kabla mtu wajata futa weze kusikia mistari amboi kwa pale ama kwa fupi tunasema The Synopsis ya Synopsis ya yu story yako The Cold Flame Like The Cold Flame as I have earlier said that the book revolves around the universal themes that is leadership, love, conflict So it is just a, a short story that revolves around uh, my fictional character that is Jesse in that story. So Jesse, actually he, she was raised up in a very royal family, but her mother, he, he, he was a deputy principal somewhere. So he, he, she was like the breadwinner of the family. So because she was the breadwinner of the family, she thought that everything, she was the one to make decisions. So she even chose a suitor to, to her daughter, of which the daughter herself was against it. So he had to go away from home. And actually she, was, she had planned even to take her life, but she was raised by someone just a mere man from a very poor background. Yeah, so she was raised by that man. And uh, later, they, the mother to the boy agreed to take her home and they stayed with, with her there. But later, as they were looking for her, now the, the, my, the story developed from, from from the from there because the, the 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 parents from the girl side realized where this girl was so after realizing so they had to come 
for her and the boy was in a mess yes. actually she ended up losing everything legs eyes because of because of the harsh conditions that she that he experienced mm. from the other family because the other family was a bit royal Okay, it will depend on how it will depend on the storyline actually. Yeah, because each and every character in a story participate in the development of the same story. So it will depend on the, the storyline. Yeah. It is a cold flame as the title itself, it, it is contradicting itself, cold flame. So it is contradicting because after all the, the harsh conditions that they were subjected to these two main characters, at last they came up with a resolution and they solved everything. Yeah. Bana safi sana mimi natamani ni nipate hiyo copy ya Cold Flame ili niweze kuisoma na kuielewa kwa undani vizuri sana. Sasa watu ambao watahitaji vitabu vyako ama watahitaji kukutana na wewe pengine kuna deals ambazo zinatokea wanakupata vipi kwenye mitandao ya kijamii ama duka lako la vitabu liko wapi mipango yako yani elezea kwa jumla kila kitu ambacho mtu anafaa kufanya ili kupata mimi kulipata rais unaweza tumia namba namba yangu ya simu namba yangu ya simu ni 0791028721 that is whatsapp number yeah 0791028721 ama fb husein rumba we can communicate there and uh, you can get copies or you can also get my copies through my publisher that is Kelvin Omonde Oteno mm. the African Ink publisher uh, Facebook African Ink publisher you will get the number there and then you will receive your copy Kesawa eh mwisho kabisa ni changamoto gani ambazo unapitia wewe kama eh kama unavyosema wewe ni mwalimu alafu pia kuna hii kazi nyingine imetokea pengine kwa story ya maliza alafu kuna watu wanahitaji changamoto gani ambazo yani changamoto kwa jumla I mean changamoto kubwa mwanzo ilikuja wakati wa kuchapisha hizi vitabu because i had the books nilikuwa nimeziandika tangu nikijoin campus then nilijoin campus nikaanza kuandika hizi books but sasa i was not financially stable at that time so i had the books but no money to publish yeah so venye nimemaliza shule sasa and at least nimepata mtu mwenye nilipata mtu mwenye akaanza kwa said that is my cousin that is mbwana kasim shughuli yeye ndo alinianza kunisaidia kuni sponsor for the publication ya mbwana kasim shughuli hiyo time si kwa poa kabisa bwana asante sana asante sana kwa muda wako mr ki nikuchoshe sana ila nataka ni wasi tu pale mashabiki zetu ambao wanaangalia waweze kutafuta hizi vitabu na kujua wanajua msimu huu wa, wa corona wengi wako majumbani wametulia so una muda mzuri sana wa kuweza kupitia story hizi na kumuelewa huyu bwana na kujua jinsi gani ambavyo watampata kama nilivyokueleza eh, namba zake za simu hizo hapo chini zimepita umeziona na pia eh, social media zake amepatia zote so ni jukumu lako wewe kama shabiki yetu kuweza kutizama eh, vitabu hivyo na kujua kitu gani ambacho ameandika kwenye story zake tofauti tofauti